Hi there, it's Peter here again, the guy who hates tomatoes but loves front-end development. Welcome to the React and GSUP 101, where we will learn how to use GSUP in React projects. You will learn how to include GSUP in React projects, how to target elements using React refs, how to animate the selected ref using GSUP, how to animate when the React state changes, and how to use scroll trigger in React. So if that's something you're interested in, keep watching. I already assume that you know the basics of React and how to spin up the Create React app. I'm just calling it React Green Sock or React GSUB 101. That will be my working directory. We'll speed up through the installation process. And also I'm expecting that you already have some GSUB knowledge and you just are curious how to include these two together. Okay, so once the React app is spinned up, we can open it in VS Code and install gsub by typing yan at gsub if you're using npm then it would be npm install gsub okay i'm using yan that's why yan add gsub and to start the application simply type in yan start and we have a basic react app spinned up now I will make a couple modifications to the basic CSS and the content of the page, but nothing major is changing from this to this. Okay, so only CSS has been changed and some content. And when you scroll down, you'll see a content that we will be revealing with scroll trigger later on. So now we are ready to explore how to work with GSUB inside of React Project. 